Good day, beautiful people, and welcome back to the channel. First of all, I just want to uh, thank all the new subscribers. And remember, there's that free surfboard. Once I hit a thousand, tell your buddies to subscribe so we can get to the thousand. I'm trying to get to there before the end of the year, but if it don't happen, it don't happen. Uh, during last weekend, we did uh, a celebrating uh, paddle out for the life of Rinus. We'll miss you, bro. We'll miss you. sailing story I was pulling the French boat now closer to uh, Jean, Jean de Nova the island Jean de Nova it's a little French weather station island but now here's the story that's what a Frenchman told me when we are getting closer he called up the the commander on the island and the commander said yes we can come in and we did find out they only had like three weeks left on that island so they were very happy to see us and especially there was a woman on board my wife my beautiful wife she was on a boat and they wanted to, a woman on an island as well so we went ashore and uh, the locals took us for a tour on the island on a little tractor with a trailer and we drive around on the island and there also it's incredible. Here's this little reef island and it's got the whitest, whitest sand. But it's actually not sand. It's like baby, baby powder in the water. If you step, it's just dust. And that's actually parrotfish poo. In <laughs> parrotfish have been for thousands of years and there's thousands of parrotfish eating the algae off the coral reef. And then they excrete, they poo the, the white coral out and that forms the beach sand. It's incredible. It's so white you have to wear dark glasses if you want to go there. But anyway, we were then invited for dinner by the commander that evening. So we went back to the boat, got dressed up, and then that evening we went back. Wow. Now as we get to shore, I had my little row dinghy, a little fiberglass one, and got my two boys we want to carry it the commander said no 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 got these troops he says they'll they'll look after it i said yeah but i want to make sure when the tide comes in they says don't worry they're here on the island man they know what it's <laughs> they oaks go and tie it down the tree a little bit higher up and i was in my brain like nah, i'm not happy and always remember when you're not happy with something never when you're sailing Never let somebody else do your anchoring, your tying up a boat of that. You must do it because you must have that uh, satisfaction that it's safe. But anyway, we went to the island. Now we, the French, they can party. So now we go for dinner and my wife take a box of five liter of wine, sold African wine with us. And uh, we, as we get there, now it's nicely, they <laughs> laid out the meal. But now first you start with a baguette, small baguette, with a bit of uh, uh, cheese. And you eat that, and then you stop. Then they have a little bit of black coffee, and then a little bit of wine. And then they smoke a little goulash, 
and I talk more and then the next meal will start. Then we'll have a bucket with cold meat. After that, wine, a little coffee and a goulash. I didn't smoke at that time, but I think by two o'clock in the morning I did smoke. <laughs> now we started there at six, just after six the meal. Then I go after the, the goulash, then it's a little bit of red wine, and then I started drinking. They didn't want to touch our box wine, they were looking, no, wine in a box, oh, it's bad. But yeah, by 11 o'clock, they started drinking and I watched and knew, mm, very nice, very nice. <laughs> by 12 o'clock at night, then the meal only started. We were like eating now, you'll get first uh, the vegetables, then you eat the vegetables, stop, coffee, smoke a goulash, and then party on. And then the steak will come, you, the whole night. Oh, and it was here by 12 o'clock. Now they're talking rugby. And because I'm South African, Springboks against the French. Oh, I used to play scrum off, bro. Now there's a French soldier. He's a prop forward, bro. Now we have to do a scrum. And with the two of us there scrumming. And as the, I think they threw in the box, the empty box of the wine to hook or a ball. I can't remember. Because this is now by 12 o'clock. When they threw that in, I grabbed his knee on the leg there back. <laughs> so he couldn't push and I pushed him over and hooked it. And uh, then mates were going crazy. <laughs> the spring, one for the spring box, one for the spring box. Yeah, and they were happy. But that man, I should have not done that. You know, a French shoulder <laughs> I upset that a brew. He was mal. No, he wants a rematch. He wants a rematch. But then we had a little bit of wine again, goulash, baguette, and I think then we started getting a fish and steak flopping. Now it's like here by one o'clock. I had to have another scrum against this guy. But he's a prop forward, so he knows what he's doing. But as I threw in that box, he hooked me and he bent me and my back went Ooh! and he pushed me over but he nearly broke me in half. The next morning my back was sore. I was like freaking hell, what did this Frenchman do to me? So those oaks that's in the front of a scrum, bro, they're a different animal. Don't go mess around with them and try and insult them in front of his friends. He oh, broke me in half. But now, I think it was three o'clock the morning when we finished. Now we're going back and uh, we're looking for my little dinghy. It's shipped red boot. That oak tied it there in the tree next to a piece of coral reef. The tide came up and a wave smashed that dinghy for me into the flipping coral heads. There's just holes. There's my boat sunk. Bloody French shoulders that know what they're doing. They knew nothing what they're doing. Now I have to get to my boat. It's out there. And there's full of sharks there. But lucky the other Frenchman on, on the other boat, he had a rubber duck. He first went and put his passengers on his boat, then came back and fetched me and took me back. And he said, okay, we'll worry about that tomorrow morning. Freaking was already next morning, but we'll worry about it tomorrow. So... He came back the next day, Yo, my head, Ooh, was hectic. That box wine and a French wine and all those goulash was hectic. So we went there, yeah. Now the chief commander, he felt bad, you know, because his soldiers know what they're doing in my ding. He gave us a hundred liters of free diesel to put in and uh, now what happened is the other Frenchman that I was with, he organized, and he, he was talking their French, I don't know exactly, but he organized it so I got the diesel and I can go and help him, you know, when we go to my yacht, I would tow him if the wind dies down. So he gave me fiberglass and mat to fix up the dinghy. So <laughs> we dragged the dinghy, I'll put it on a boat, I'll fix it up when we get to my yacht. 
and then we left but also just before the, we left the, the French chef come running on it you know wait 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 and he gave us a box I think two or three boxes for the Frenchman and for me as well cheese oh it's French cheese it's like uh, I don't know if you ever ate this it's actually it's like cream white cream and that yellow ones oh the taste of those things are beautiful but anyway as we left my son put a hook out Whew, he's got a, we got a kingfish for so then that evening while we were sailing I made kingfish for us now next week we'll tell you the story when we got to my yacht island and that the 100 liters of free diesel I got is not really free. See you in the water and keep the stove. Love you guys. Bye.